Hi, my name's Katie. I'm a public health nurse with Ottawa Public Health. Today I'm talking to Iman, and Iman is going to share her story of how she was vaccine reluctant to choosing to getting the vaccine. Hi, Iman, and welcome. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Iman? Hi, yes. Um, my name is Iman. Uh, I live in Carlington community, and um, I'm a mom of five, and uh, I have uh, seven grandkids, which they keep me busy. <laughs> Uh, as well as I did uh, start volunteering at the um, Caldwell uh, Family Center, which including the food bank, clothing depot, and uh, kitchen for the breakfast and lunch, uh, hot meals for the families and the residents uh, at uh, Carlington, especially for uh, Caldwell uh, area. So you're busy? <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> for sure. Yes, I'm really busy. I'd love to be busy, active, and uh, uh, keep involved in the uh, community as well as uh, helping my um, kids with their kids uh, as a grandma. Iman, when COVID-19 vaccines first came to Ottawa, what was your first reaction or how did you feel about it? Uh, to be honest, um, I wasn't sure, like, I wasn't taking it uh, like uh, serious and uh, I would I was uh, a little bit um, hesitated to get vaccinated. What were the things that you were hearing about that made you feel unsure about it or hesitant? I've been hearing a lot of being might be not good for you. You may be sick. Uh, it has. Um, I hear some other people saying, you know, the social media and the, you might be get some side effect or something. When you came to a decision that maybe, maybe I need to do this for not only myself, my grandchildren, my family, my community, for what I do as my I'm volunteering, how did you make the decision finally? One of the staff uh, at the community project, uh, she's keep encouraging me to get the vaccine and she's like, it's safe, it's uh, good for you, it's, um, you feel protective. And uh, also my daughter, she's always uh, uh, encouraging me. And uh, when they start opening the vaccine the hubs and the vaccine clinics around the city, it's everywhere and it's, uh, it's around the corner. So I ran, I ran right away and I, I got my first shot uh, back in May. Then they give me an appointment for another, after a month. Then again, when they called me, here's your opportunity and your, your chances now. It's, uh, it was uh, my birthday and my family is gathering. I'm like, no, excuse me, I'm gonna go. I went. I got my second vaccine. Since then, I felt I felt safe. I felt happy. I felt uh, comfortable. Now, since then, like I'm been encouraging and uh, let people know how how safe it is. That's excellent. So you went through a process of being unsure about it to deciding that you would like to do it to running to go mm -hmm. get the vaccine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And you were encouraged by somebody that worked with you that encouraged you to do it. So yeah. now that you've had both doses and you're feeling comfortable and happy with the, that decision, mm -hmm. what do you want to tell other people who might be hesitating right now to do to get the shot? Yes, sure. Um, I would love to encourage them and uh, let them be brave and uh, go ahead and take your vaccine. Uh, you'll be uh, protective and uh, you'll be healthy and uh, don't be hesitate. It's, it's your right. It's, uh, it's for you and you'll be protected and protect your family and community. Mm -hmm.